welcome back. So after my last video where I did a Milani haul and like mini review, overview type of video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see more videos that are similar to that in the way that I kind of go to the store and pick up a bunch of products from one brand and I just review them and tell you guys my opinions and I told you guys that I had a bunch of Jordana products that are also new for 2015 just like the Milani video and a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see it. I was kind of unsure if I wanted to do this so soon because I feel like I would like to space those videos out a little bit more in between each other. I don't know why. I guess that is just a lot of information that I'm throwing at you. But I've been getting a lot of requests to come out with this. The, the, uh, the, I'm thinking faster than I can form the words. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to come out with this video on all Jordana products. And the reason that I was like, okay, I'm going to do it is because every single product that I show you guys today is under $5. And I didn't even realize that until I was sitting down and kind of making little notes on my opinions and marking down prices and all of that, doing a little bit of research on the claims online and everything that I noticed that every single product is under $5. And that even includes a new foundation concealer two in one product. So I'm going to show you guys all the new products for 2015. You can find Jordana. It's a little bit hard to find. I'm not going to lie to you guys. By me, the only place that I can find Jordana Jordana is at Walgreens and Walgreens is not even that close to me so I would definitely go on Jordana.com order from there or you could find a store locator from there I'm not really sure if any other stores other than dollar stores and I think Kmart and Walgreens carry Jordana I might be wrong let me know if you guys find Jordana any other place so anyway I want to start off just like with the Milani video with my personal favorite and again it's the lipsticks and again they're matte lipsticks so there are actually 12, 12, let me see, yes, 12 shades. These are all of them right here. And just like with the Milani video, I'm going to swatch all of these on my lips for you guys because you seem to really enjoy that. It's one thing if I just hold them up and show them to you guys. It's not really the same as seeing them on the lips. So you guys can see right here that there are an array of colors. We have purples, pinks, nudes, reds, some really bright pinks, some deeper purples. And the second bunch over here, we have corals reds, browns, peachy colors. And one thing that I really love about all these lipsticks is, let me, let me see, according to my notes, $249 each. $249 for a matte lipstick, like that's amazing. Now I do have to say that if I compare these to Milani matte lipsticks, they're not really 100% matte. They kind of have a little bit, hold on, a little bit of a sheen to them. I'm going to swatch one of them for you guys. They definitely are matte lipsticks but they're called moisture matte they do have a little bit of slip to them is what i'm gonna say so when i think of a matte lipstick i really think of something that's like a hundred percent matte like ruby woo by mac or something that has no slip a drying formula this is not that it's a very moisturizing but matte at the same time but if you're looking for that like suede finish that you want no type of shine or reflection on me on your lips I definitely recommend just going over it with like a loose or a translucent setting powder and that's going to give you that really matte look. But I really do like these because they moisturize your lips at the same time while giving you somewhat of a matte look. So that's the first product that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Okay, so next they have three new shades in their Easy Liner. This is a product that they already carried for the longest time, but these are new shades that they're introducing and these are $1.99. Now they have Easy Liner for the lips. Those are not the lips. Easy liner for the lips and easy liner for the eyes. And I don't have the ones for the lips because they're actually at my boyfriend's house right now. But I have been using them so much and always letting you guys know. I think the one called Rose Pink is the one that I've been wearing on my lips every single day. Paired up with my Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lip. I love the lip liners by Jordana. They're probably, if you had to ask me one drugstore brand that I love their lip liners, hands down, Jordana. I don't even think that I buy any other drugstore lip liners. They last a really long time on me, and a lot of the times I like to use them instead of a lipstick. So there are two new shades. I'm sorry, guys, that I don't have. The pink rose is like kind of like a mid-tone warm pink and then they have a brand new fuchsia color and um, the other colors are for the eyes and they came out with a turquoise shade this one's really pretty this is called khaki and then they have a black blue color and for $1.99 for an eyeliner you can use these on your waterline you can use them to line your lids pretty much anything as a pop of color on the bottom of your eyes, $1.99, seriously, you can't go wrong. Next, we're going to talk about balm stains. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I did come out with a video just showing nothing but the balm stains. I think that there's like 
I want to say 8 to 10 in the entire collection and I swatched every single one on my lips which was a really hard video because they do stain your lips so it was very hard especially when I got to the darker colors they have nudes pinks there was an orange color there's some purples some really really deep vibrant kind of like merlot colors and I swatched all of them on the lips but there are two new shades right here and the two new shades are Gorgeous Peony, which is a really pretty mid-tone pink color. I'm actually, I should have worn this today. I'm probably going to wipe this off after this video and put this on. And then this color right here is called Fresh Fig, and it's kind of like a cranberry color. There is a cranberry color in the line already, but this one has more of a pinkish cranberry, whereas the other one is more definitely like a dark purple cranberry. So they're similar, but a little bit different. And I really like these because you put them on your lips, they stain and they give a beautiful shine. Like the way that they wear off on the lips, I feel like the longer you wear these, the better they look on your lips. I will apply it once in the beginning of the day and then by the end of the day, it gives like a really natural flush, like a healthy flush to your lips. I don't know if that makes any type of sense. But anyway, this the Twist and Shine Bomb Stains are not new at all. Just these colors. And these are $2.99. So that's amazing. The next products are for the brows. And these are $2.99. And again, these are just three new shades that they're introducing into the collection. These are called their Fab Fabu Brow Pencils. And they come with a standard pencil that you do sharpen. It has a little brush tip. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. And... It is a sharpening a sharpening pencil, a pencil that has to be sharpened, which to be honest with you guys is not my favorite. And this product is also not really my favorite either because the pigmentation is okay, but it, it definitely could have more of a smoother application. Like, you know, you kind of have to drag it, which is good and bad. For me, I like a really strong brow, so I like the pigmentation to be there. But if you like barely there brows or you're afraid of overdrawing your brows, it's kind of good that you have to build it up and apply a little bit more pressure so that way you don't go overboard. But I don't have that issue. I, I like my brows to be overboard sometimes. So the three new colors that they have are light taupe, um, which is a very ashy color. This is soft brown, which is another brown color, but it's a lot more warm. So maybe if you have a tint of red in your hair or just a warmer toned hair do color. And the last one is Midnight Brown, which is just like a super, super dark brown. The darkest brown you could get without going black. Because yes, even though I have black hair, I don't ever touch my eyebrows with anything black just because even though I like super bold brows on fleek, that's a little bit too much. Like, Black brows are just, I don't know, especially because I'm so pale, I just feel like black brows, black hair, pale skin, like Alvira, it's not good. All right, next product I have in the this little baggie, this is the Color Tint Blush Sticks. These are a brand new product to Jordana, and these retail for $2.99. Like you seriously, you guys, how good are these prices? It's amazing. Now, I'm not one for cream blushes just because my skin is so sensitive, especially now since I'm using powder foundation. I definitely can't apply this over powder, so I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of these, but I was thinking maybe you can use these on the lips, and let's even let's see how these swatch, because I have not even tried these out yet. Holy crap, that is actually really pigmented. I think that these would be really nice on the lips, and there are some colors in here, like some bronzy colors, like this one. Come on, camera, focus. Work with me, baby. My camera just wants to focus on my face, so I'm going to put it like right in front of my face. You can see that it, that they have some bronzy colors and some peachy colors, which are really pretty that I think that I will be able to use on my lids, especially for the summertime. Like if you're going to the pool or the beach, I know I'm jumping the gun, but I'm so excited for spring and summer. And I don't think I'm going to use these on my cheeks, but I think I can definitely integrate them. These are the other three. You have a pink color, a deep rose color, and then a coral color. So those are really pretty and $2.99 again and then the last product oh my god how many are there in this line there are 12 shades $4.99 definitely can't hold up all these at one I have all of them and basically what these are these are called the complete cover maximum coverage two-in-one concealer and foundation now this is a really really dark one and this is a really really light one and since I have not used these on my face since my skin is like a healing stage I've been reading not reading watching a lot of reviews on YouTube and a lot of you girls seem to love this product from my research what I've seen a lot of you feel like this is a very very full coverage foundation it's great for all over if you have very acne prone skin or not even acne prone but a lot of stuff to cover up but me I don't know I just feel 
I don't like reading the ingredients on the back of this it's not the best stuff it's a foundation that is only $4.99 so I'm, I'm afraid to put this all over my face I don't want to lie to you guys but what I will use this for especially because they come in super dark shades and super super light shades are concealer and like contour cream so what I'm gonna do is come out with a video showing you guys exactly how I do that and this is a concealer and foundation so you could definitely use the really really bright shades for example, like this is would be my skin tone shade and this is a really, really light shade. They have so many different shades in this collection and they're only $4.99. So I definitely would pop one of these underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my chin and my forehead to kind of brighten up and highlight and then go in with a darker color such as probably this one, just a little bit and just go around the edge of my hairline on my temples, definitely sculpt out those cheekbones underneath my jawline to kind of add a little bit more dimension, Especially if I'm going to like an event, maybe for IMATS. And by the way, yes, I will be at IMATS New York. I'm getting so many questions from you guys. I will be there on Saturday. And definitely stay tuned to my Instagram because if I decide to do like a last minute meetup like I did last year, I'll just do it outside um, and let you guys know that I'm in the front to come hang out and take pictures and talk and all that good stuff. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, just like in the Milani video, request down below any specific brands where you want to see a big haul and mini reviews like this video. And that's it. I think that's everything. I have a huge mess to clean up now. And what I'm going to do now is swatch all of these matte lipsticks on my lips. So you guys will see that coming up next. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.